Hello people, this is Dennis and today we're gonna talk about sales order database alright so um, this is the layout uh, we're gonna have uh, products service ID or name you gonna have And we're gonna have the quantity 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 we're gonna have unit price and we're gonna have the amount so this is how the form is going to look like and over here we are going to have uh, the sub total so let's say let's use one two three and fill in uh, fifty to in uh, 160 so you can see it's gonna eight point two five and uh, ten point Fifty and one seven five two point zero zero. So the subtotal We're gonna have this two thousand six hundred forty eight and over here we're gonna have this count amount gonna have sub total gonna have shipping fee if any and we are gonna have tax rate a uh, percent then um, totally total due so this is the breakdown and uh, this is the breakdown discount rates and uh, 
subtotal 20 uh, One seven six six point four five and shipping one seven six point six five and tax on five five point four six. So this is how um it's gonna look like and we're gonna start building this one very soon so it should look something like this this is the order form sales or purchases order it doesn't matter which one so let's uh, go into assets have my sales order database and first you're gonna create products and services info information table so we're gonna have a uh, date of date of perch date of issue uh, products service aim okay I uh, will name this PS ID product or service ID quantity in stock stock um, let's name here description description uh, sell price purchase sell price and quantity in stock so let's format this state this is retail price Markup down rates Sell price. Our name here market price. And um, save. Close. Now we need to create the other table. other table
um, date of order transaction ID this is the date and um, products PS PS ID product service code if you can remember uh, one PS ID two PS ID three and here is going to be Q1 quantity 1 QT 2 3 unit price 1 1 Unit price to unit price three. So this is a number. This is a number. This is a number. This is a currency. Currency and currency. Save this. Okay, this is two. Save. And this is a lookup value. gonna look from the product and services and it's gonna be product service name and this one and finish yes do the same same to this one too yes save and let's look at it Okay, this is it for the table. S create uh, nope. Let's create from from this. All right. Now we need to format this so it looks better. 